hello everybody so this is the next video so we are continuing so actually we last video we saw about the great thing so when we are clicking this we have a chat actually inside this one where are, what about that what happened so okay yes uh, yeah actually it came so something happened like that so uh, so actually uh we didn't this is in a large screen so we have a chat and we listed the chat also so now we are going to do some small small things like this timing changes and timing variable changes and back press we don't implement we didn't implement the back press actually so we are going to implement the back press over here instead of this using the default one we are going to implement this back press and we are going to change this timestamp okay so let's go and change it over here so this is the timestamp okay so let's do start with the back press right now okay so if you go up we have a toolbar uh, where is the back button actually I can okay yeah this is the arrow back button okay image so in this image only we are going we need to add and click option okay so for this one we can do it like back we need a back press dispatcher so we, each screen we can take a back press dispatcher actually so well uh, dispatcher okay back dispatcher not minus local back where is it what happened dot current okay so the using this back press dispatcher we have an icon over this one right so this is the icon image circle okay so what we can do here modifier modifier dot clickable okay yeah clickable so we can do it like this one Dispatcher, okay. Yeah, not on back press. Okay, yeah. So now it will go back to the main screen. So this is a normal back press behavior. So if we want to, if we want to implement any other default thing, means we can use those things. Okay. So this is how uh, this is the back press. So then we are going to implement that timing changes over here. So in the screen, you can see we have a three this timer so we have to convert the timestamp the normal timestamp to this kind of timestamp okay so this is the timestamp changer so let's go and implement the timestamp changer inside the, the chat okay so not over here so what i'm thinking was in the main activity we will have one function it's a timestamp converter okay so we will have we'll have one function okay so we'll have this function and this function will return the public timestamp okay format timestamp okay so this timestamp will uh, get the timestamp oh actually it's not a timestamp long okay so it will return string okay so this is our function what up okay this is our function so we are going to add date date format is equal to simple date format not this one okay first one is of pattern so in which pattern we need so if you see over here so we have hours minutes and that uh, pm or am so hours minutes and a okay so this is our format and local okay locally locally yeah this one dot get default okay so locally dot get default so if you give english it will give that one so it's based on the local so so if you gave english it will be only in the numerical time so otherwise if you change the language it will affect so if you are having multi-language in your application so you can't give the default you have to give english tamil like that you have to give okay so like this if you give means it will work properly okay so then well date date okay so in this date we are going to give this timestamp so once the timestamp is done we are going to return it date format dot format date okay so now it will return the date in this format okay so this is the format timestamp so what i'm going to do is so we will go to this event and in this not in this event uh, where it is happening okay over here so we have any we have any return type okay this is the return type over here so we don't want this one okay so we'll go to the chat screen chat screen 
so this is a function we can directly implement over here so i'm just i just showed you what is happening exactly exactly so i can make this function where is the function as a static one it's like we don't want to implement this one here and i can implement this one in where is that elements or somewhere else where it where see we have any util util functions we don't have any util okay sniper elements okay will be elements okay object mm. okay yeah this timestamp we can directly use in this chat screen okay here item dot timestamp okay this is what okay yeah the same thing uh, over here okay okay yeah so this is done so i'm just stopping let's let's run the application and we'll check once okay yeah Okay, the application runs actually. So if I'm clicking over here, yeah, you can see it like 8.47 p.m., 8.51 p.m., 8.93 p.m., 9.3 p.m., okay. So if I am typing something like it now, it is the time is 9.28, okay. Now the time is 9.28, okay. I'm just sending it. It's clear, okay. So now it is done. 28 but the message is not removed so we have to do that also so where is it where 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 so we have action 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 okay button action main screen send message right so this is a send message but what we can we need to do is send message return callback so if it is success we have to get a callback okay so it's like callback uh status is equal to boolean unit okay so this one need to be there we have a two places in this place not inside here inside here also we can do oh here even dot what happened callback should be here right okay well okay now it is fine so here i just added the callback so in this callback we can clear the value of this text so we have a it right so if it else we don't need if else it is true means we can do it's null null or empty okay so if it is not so that for that thing we have to add that one in here right yeah here callback is used true so you can think like it is always true why we are giving this one so but it in case uh, not now so if you are elaborating and doing something so far now i need to show you for that i'm doing this like this so if you are doing elaborating and doing like that means you can do something because this this we are i am calling this one here so you can send this one inside this chat view model and you can do it like based on the success and failure response you can do whatever you want or otherwise you can give this here as here you can give like uh boolean okay 
it's like we can give like a status boolean okay boolean so in this status we can give like so this is a success true this is a failure false okay so i'm going to in the main activity if you go here it will have a it so that that it i'm giving here okay done okay so let's see i'll i'll just stop this one and run it again Yeah, our application runs over here. So I'm just going and clicking in arrows. It is coming. Yeah, you can see it here. The timing is right. So when I am clicking here, I am running. Okay, it needs to clear now. Okay, I'm just clicking. Yeah, it needs to clear now. Centered, actually. So you can see it here. So the thing is, in the in the Firebase we, uh, notification, we didn't do any process to get the message when we are sending it right so as like that if any another person is sending the message so you can also receive the same message at the same time when they are sending so it will act this in the chat view model this thing right so we are getting the list where is it okay i get message so this thing will uh, actively actively listening for the response so whenever whoever hitting the same node same database same node means this chat this message whoever is if any changes occur in this node it will actively look, looking for it it will get the data and it will populate to your messages so uh, let me show you with the two device thing so then you can understand uh, let me run on this device again now we have a two application actually i opened two application and uh, two interface so this is Aros. so i logged in as Avaros and i am going to click charles okay I just click the Charles. Let's wait for a moment. Yeah. So you can see whatever I'm sending here, it will be as a receiving side. So I'm going to send it. Hi. Okay. I'm just going to send it over here. So you can see in the both response which I am sending to here, it will receive over here. I'm if I am adding hi over here, so it will receive in both side. Welcome. So if it will receive in both side. Hmm, so uh, this is how uh, the listener will work in the both actions. So we didn't do any socket connections or we didn't do any thing. So if you are using Firebase for a chat application, so you don't want to do anything, you just need to add a listen, add value event listener for this. So whenever the, ch the branch is changing in value, if all the sectors, all the branches in the application the who are all using the current screen, it will update the live thing uh, in the real-time database okay so this is how it will work uh, firebase chat application it's a um, update will work okay yeah